So you want to get a pet tarantula, but you're not exactly sure where to buy one. Well, today we're going to talk about how to buy a pet tarantula, so stick around. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos about tarantulas and other exotic pets, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, this is a question that I get asked all the time. Where do I buy a tarantula? What's the best place to get a tarantula from? How do I know if a dealer or business is reputable? So today, we're gonna go over the steps that you'll need to know to find the perfect pet tarantula for you, perfect for your situation. So let's start off with step number one, research basic tarantula care. Before you actually get a tarantula, whether it's your first or your 50th, you need to have a basic understanding of tarantula care and husbandry. You also need to determine which species of tarantula you really want. Do you want a new world or an old world tarantula? And if you don't know what that means, I've got a whole video that explains that, that I will link at the end of this video called What to Expect When You're Expecting. That covers all of the basic information you'll need to know before getting your first tarantula. You'll also wanna find out the scientific name of the species. Common names are unreliable and sometimes refer to multiple species. There can also be different common names for the same species of tarantula that'll differ based on what region you're in. And some common names are specific to an individual dealer or business. So knowing the scientific name is the only way you can be sure you're getting the exact species you really want. You'll also need to decide if you want a spiderling, juvenile, or adult. Spiderlings are typically less expensive, but they're also a little more fragile. It could take months or even years before they grow to a size that they really start showing their coloration. Adults are much easier to care for but they're also a lot more expensive. A good middle ground is getting a juvenile, which is already well started and will be a little easier to take care of, but it's not as large and expensive as an adult. The downside is sometimes juveniles can be a little more difficult to find, and you wanna make sure that you've got your enclosure set up and ready to go before you actually buy the tarantula. That way you can move it into its new home as soon as you get it. Step two is purchasing the tarantula. One of the easiest and cheapest ways to find a pet tarantula is to go to a local reptile expo or convention. Most cities and large towns have a reptile expo every month or every six months. So do a quick Google search or check social media to find any exotic pet shows in your area. But I suggest only buying tarantulas from tarantula dealers or exotic pet dealers that know a lot about keeping tarantulas. Be wary buying tarantulas from a dealer or business that specializes in a specific species of reptile and only has a few random tarantulas at the end of their table. If I find a tarantula for sale at a table that only has a few species available, I'll ask them for the scientific name of that species. If they don't know what it is, then I'm not going to buy it from them. It could be wild caught and who knows exactly what species it'll end up being. So look for dealers and breeders at these expos that know what they're talking about, have a wide selection, and can help answer any of the questions you may have about keeping a pet tarantula. You can also order tarantulas online directly from dealers. Find a reputable website that will ship the tarantula right to your door. I have a long list of tarantula dealers that I recommend on my website, thetarantulacollective.com. And some of them are even kind enough to provide a discount code. So take advantage of those discount codes or wait until a dealer has a really good sale. Now, buying online does mean you've got to pay for FedEx overnight shipping, which is anywhere between $45 to $55. But you'll also find that usually the prices of these tarantulas are much cheaper than pet stores and sometimes even at expos. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Arasus Spider Shop. Arasus is an online tarantula dealer based out of California. And right now they are having a huge sell on their website for a very limited time. Depending on how much you spend, you can save anywhere from 50 to 70% off your order, which is an amazing deal. They have a wide variety of tarantulas from your basic beginner species to very rare species you'll be hard pressed to find any other dealer carrying. And they're updating the website every day. So keep checking back daily as the sale progresses. And you can combine multiple orders and only pay for shipping once. I'll have all the details and codes for this sale down below in the description. Well, thanks again, Arasus, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to that list. If you can't find the tarantula you're looking for from an online dealer, and maybe you're not able to go to any exotic pet shows, you can also find tarantula breeders that specialize in a few different species and buy directly from them on different forums online. For instance, Arachnoboards has an entire classified section where individual dealers who may not have a website or officially be a business post some of the tarantulas they have available for sale. But before you make your purchase and send any money, be sure to read the reviews on that seller and reach out to people on different forums or Facebook groups and ask if anyone's dealt with them because you definitely don't want to get scammed. I have a whole video on how
how to avoid getting scammed buying tarantulas online that I will link above. Another way for you to buy a pet tarantula is to visit your locally owned exotic pet stores. Not every town has a mom and pop exotic pet store, but if your town doesn't have one, a neighboring town or city might. So be sure to search it online. Sometimes these mom and pop shops may not have the widest selection, and sometimes they may be more expensive than what you get them for online or at an expo. But you can see the tarantula in person and buy it from a trusted retailer. Not all mom and pop stores are created equal. So some locally owned exotic pet stores may be really good and have a lot of information about tarantulas, while others may specialize in birds or fish and just have a few available for sale and not know anything about them at all. And finally, this is probably the most difficult way to get a pet tarantula, but look for tarantulas available for adoption at local pet rescues and exotic pet adoption agencies. Most large towns and cities have at least one organization that rescues and adopts out exotic pets. So do a quick search on Google or Facebook and see if any organization like that is in your area. Sometimes you can find a tarantula that they have available for adoption and only have to pay a small fee. Some places the Humane Society even takes in and adopts out tarantulas. You can also check places like Craigslist for people trying to rehome a tarantula. But you always need to be careful in those situations. Adopting a tarantula from an individual does come with some risks. One, you just gotta be careful meeting a stranger in public. Two, sometimes they don't know anything about a tarantula. Tarantula could be an old male, and a lot of times these people don't really want you to adopt a tarantula. They're just using words like adoption and rehousing to hide the fact they're just trying to sell the tarantula. So there may be a $200 rehousing fee or something like that. But sometimes those rehousing fees or adoption fees are gonna cost a lot more than if you just bought the tarantula straight from a dealer. Now, real quick, we're gonna go over what not to do when buying a pet tarantula. Now, the first and most important is a tip I want everyone to hear. Do not buy a tarantula from a random person messaging you on Facebook or any social media app. A lot of times, these are scams. If someone is reaching out to you unsolicited or they saw a post you made and wanna message you directly, take that as a red flag and proceed with caution. Personally, I don't respond to any messages anyone sends me trying to sell me a live animal. And on the same note, if you buy a tarantula from someone online, be very cautious if they want you to send that payment through PayPal, friends and family, or really any money transferring app where you have no recourse to get a refund if they try to scam you. Another thing to avoid is buying a tarantula or any live animal really from outside of your country. Now mainly I'm talking about the United States because I'm familiar with our import laws. But I know a lot of countries have very similar laws. But I know from my own experience, I get messages all the time from people in other countries offering to sell me some spiders or other inverts or live animals. So yes, tarantulas may be a lot cheaper in the United Kingdom, but it is very illegal to buy them and have them shipped into the US without the proper documentations and licenses. You should also avoid buying tarantulas from online dealers that specialize specifically in reptiles. I'm not naming any names, but there are a few businesses out there that mostly just sell reptiles and amphibians, but they do have a small selection of tarantulas available on their website. A lot of these tarantulas are wild caught or they are not kept in optimal conditions. And sometimes they're shipped in a deli cup with substrate and there's no padding, packaging, or protection. And there are also a few tarantula dealers out there that have a reputation of unethical behavior. So stay away from the fly-by-night shady tarantula dealers. And you'll know who they are because they spend a lot of time telling you how much you can trust them. And finally, you want to avoid chain pet stores. Now, I'm not talking about your locally owned mom and pop stores. We're talking about nationwide brands. Now, these large box stores could really care less about the tarantulas they have for sale. And a lot of times they're just labeled assorted fancy tarantula. It can be tempting because sometimes a tarantula is a lot cheaper than you can find anywhere else. You still got to be wary because they're famous for selling male tarantulas that are either fully matured or nearly matured. So you think you're getting a good deal on a tarantula, then it turns out it only lives for a year or two. Now, if you want to know exactly how to set up a tarantula enclosure for your new species, then check out this video right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs> My time, cause I'm fine with my life And I sing a little song, do a little dance Smile for the camera, don't get caught up inside of damage Bring a little joy, find